Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So lots of different bullish news for Cardano over the last few days. We see Grayscale have opened a new smart contract fund, putting Cardano as the number one asset in that. Also Hydra running test cases on the public testnet. The ERC20 converter, Singularity Net have announced a launch date for that. Milkomeda is going to go live next week, which also brings more bridging opportunities for Cardano as well. We'll take a look at the charts as well, because right now Cardano, the ADA price is fighting to break out of the long-term downtrend. So timestamps will be below, shared out if others can benefit, give it a like, comment below, even if it's for the algorithm and let's jump into it. Okay, so starting out here with Grayscale Investments launches smart contract platform fund. So this is a fund to give investors exposure to smart contract platforms outside of Ethereum. So if we scroll down here, you can see Cardano ADA makes up 24.63%, Solana 24.27, Avalanche said just under 17, Polkadot 16, Polygon, Algorand and Stellar make up the rest. So for me, it's very interesting to see that they have put ADA as the number one asset in this fund. If you take a look at the actual fund right now, there's not a lot of assets under management in this $3.7 million, but this only launched a few days ago. So it's definitely one to keep an eye on. And even looking outside of this, they're putting their trust into the ADA I suppose essentially the ADA price because that's what the investors are looking for is the greatest price or the greatest investment returns that they can get. And when you look at the different funds that Grayscale have, they haven't got a Cardano specific trust yet. I will say yet because the fact they've put Cardano as the number one asset in the smart contract platform, I'd be hoping that we will see a Cardano Grayscale trust fairly soon as well. Now I did cover this, I think it's over a year ago now where they registered the business name and all of that, but they never actually followed followed through with the trust. So hopefully we will get information on that fairly soon, but good to see that they're placing their trust in ADA for now as well. If we look at here, this was actually a thread that input output put out about some of the different things that are going on with Cardano at the minute. This went out this morning, so I'll leave a link to this down below. One that stands out is the Hydra testnet. So Charles actually retweeted this as well. The first Hydra heads on the public Cardano testnet and they gave the link to the transaction there. So it's great to see progress on Hydra as well. I will be sitting down with Isaac from Ardana. I had him on before talking about building on Cardano and everything like that. Really good technical guy. So he's going to come on in the next week or so to talk about Cardano scaling in general and what we can hopefully expect over the next weeks and years to come with Cardano. So great to see progress on this. This will launch, the first version of Hydra will launch with the June hard fork. And there's a lot of people excited about that. For me personally, I... Obviously looking forward to seeing that going live, but some of the SIPs, the Cardano improvement proposals are what I'm really looking forward to seeing going live in June because what they're going to do is make things a lot easier for some of the D apps, especially some of the more complex DeFi applications for launching. Things like Ardana are just waiting for for these improvements to come out, especially in around reference scripts to mean that they don't have to include scripts in every single transaction. This is really going to help with congestion on the network as well. So if we look at Singularity Net, they've said that they've hard forked the AGIX ADA token to be a Plutus enabled token. So next they have the upgrade ERC20 converter bridge, 28th of March, verify testnet and the 18th of April, is when they're looking to roll out to mainnet. As far as I know, AGIX or AGI will be the only token on this to start with. Hopefully we see this expanded out fairly soon as well. So in terms of bridges, we also have Milkometa, which is going to be an EVM layer two solution for Cardano. So I have had Nico on the channel before to talk all about this. I will leave a link to this down below. And they have said here that they will announce it on Thursday the actual date for going live, but they are planning to go live next week. So this is going to open up so many different opportunities out there as well, including, I would say, bringing stable coins into Cardano because you can bridge from Ethereum to Milkmeda and then into Cardano as well. So that's the type of stuff, that's the type of opportunities I'm really looking forward to digging into. And once that goes live, you can expect lots of different tutorials here on how to do the various tasks, how to bridge over, how to use the different assets and make sure you subscribe for them. 
So taking a look at the price then and how things are being affected. So we look at Bitcoin very quickly first. Bitcoin, obviously, Bitcoin's doing okay. It's moving to the upside, but in reality, until we start breaking above this $46,000 level and then on up into the 50,000, until we get above this 46, it's not something that I'm going to really pay too much attention to. So keeping an eye on it, obviously good to see the price going up, but in terms of the ADA price, so you can see it's $42,500 as I record this. We did hit up to 43, 43 and a half overnight. So good to see some positive movement there. But obviously ADA USD is the one that a lot of us here are watching. If we scroll out on this and look at the big picture. So if we look at the big picture here, you can see that since the smart contract hard fork, well, actually the hard fork happened in around here, mid-September, the overall market crashed just before it. So that's why we had such a big drop here. If you compare the rest of the market, you'll see that. We'll say since September, we've been in a downtrend with the ADA price. So obviously tested it here, tried to break up, didn't get up, held it almost perfectly here from a technical point of view. Perfect retest here and rejection right back down. Right now, if you scroll in on this here, you can see we are trying to break out of this downtrend at the minute. We'll have to see how this plays out over the next day or two. Some people starting to call that this is the run up for the June hard fork. We're slightly early if we look at previous hard forks for when the main run should start for a price like this. Generally, for anyone who hasn't been around for a while, generally when you have something big launching, what happens is in the approaching time frame, if we go all the way back here to March last year, this was the hard fork that brought native assets onto the Cardano blockchain. So you can see from January here, early January, there was a massive run up in the ADA price in anticipation of this going live. Pretty much every time, once something like this launches, you do have the pullback then to see how things settle because you get FOMO, you get everything on the way up, and then everything settles down after that. So as things settle there, obviously in the middle of, or the beginning of summer, the market had a really nice peak at that time, pulled back and waited once again to have a massive run up for the September hard fork at that stage, which was smart contracts. Now, what we know now is that was a very early version of smart contracts. What's coming in June is actually going to bring in a lot of the improvements that are really going to let teams really utilize smart contracts and use them in a far more efficient way. Okay, so if we look at the June hard fork, then you can see the end of June is when this is scheduled to come in. We don't have an official date on that yet, but if you start looking at the epochs, this always has to happen on the turn of an epoch. So potentially you could guess it then, but I've just put it in roughly here. So generally you start to get the run up one and a half, maybe two months before that. So if we say, middle to end of June, that would mean May, kind of late April, very early May is when you would expect to see the real run up starting for this. So I think from that perspective, we're a little bit early here at this stage, but look, if the price wants to start to move and start to creep to the upside, I have no complaints. My bags are packed. If we get rejected at this point and come back down to make another retest of the downtrend, I also won't complain. It gives me more time to work trading in and out of other assets right now, yield farming across the different platforms that are out there, all accumulating more ADA as I go for an anticipation of what I feel is to come here for the upside that is going to happen. And look, I said earlier that generally when you get these hard forks after them, there will be a sell-off. I don't think this will be any different. I think after the hard fork, yes, there will be a sell-off on this. What is always important is how quick do dApps and how quick does the ecosystem start to take advantage of what these hard forks bring? So in this case, what it's going to bring is the likes of Ardana that as far as I know, they're basically ready to go, but they need the SIPs that are in that, in that hard fork to go live on the network to make it safer for something like them to go live. And when you start to look across other blockchains, when money markets went live on other blockchains, if you start to look at the correlation with the price of the underlying blockchain, you will see that it does generally have a really nice impact on the price. So in our case, it would be ADA, obviously Dana as well as the token for Ardana. So I'll go deeper into that in another video, looking at what money markets actually bring and compare across some of the other blockchains. If you're interested, make sure you subscribe for that as well. In summary, after all of that ranting, 
We watch for the next day, see can we break away from this downtrend? The optimal thing would be break up, get a bit of a rejection back down and get the support on this before starting to move to the upside there. We'll keep tracking it over the next while. If you got value, please do share it out. Give the video a like, comment questions, anything like that below. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.